This YouTube video is presented by Screamscape, your ultimate guide to theme parks. All right, guys, we're here with Chris from Skyline Attractions. Oh, hey. Somebody we've been trying to get for days. You're just busy, uh, man. You're a busy uh, guy. If I'm not here, I'm out and about, of course. But, you know, it's crazy here at the show. We've, we've got our finger in a couple things here at the show anyway. Plus, I help out at IAPA quite a bit with some committees. And it, we did the model for Cobra's Curse, so we were over there with them for a while. You yeah. know, it kind of looked like your work. Uh, I've seen all your wooden coaster work, and I was yeah. like, this kind of looks like Chris. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like a Picasso, but a model, uh -huh. right? But, you know when it's Picasso. But being you guys were right next to the Honolulu hot dog booth, we had no problem coming by and seeing, oh, he's not busy, yeah, yeah. we'll come back. We'll have a Honolulu hot dog. Yeah. Well, Bill that owns Honolulu hot dog is a quarter partner here at Skyline. We sort of figured something was going on since yeah. you guys are always right next to yeah. each other. So ultimately, the goal is, at some point, uh, when we grow big enough, we'll have a booth here on the floor that will have games and rides and food and a lounge, and basically we're gonna gate it and call it our own park. <laughs> like oh. it. So, and, and, the Skyline Park. Yeah, so actually I think we'll just call it the park. The park. park. And uh, you know, you'll get a ticket when you come in and somebody will be at the gate to let you in. And you come in and have some fun. Will there be a crazy couch in there? Maybe, it depends. The crazy couch could morph into something else though, so. You like know, the, the super sofa? <laughs> Silly sofa. It had several names actually. You know, when we first started to work with the concept, it was probably late summer. And it started out with the same motion, but there was two tubs on each end with four people in each one and they could spin. So you could spin them yourself or they would spin with whatever gravity was throwing them around. So ultimately we had sent that concept out to a bunch of parks that we knew personally and said, hey guys, what do you what do you think of this concept? How can we make it better? Yeah. You know, what would make it more appealing for you? And they said, get rid of the tubs. <laughs> because one, you want more capacity than two children and two adults in each yeah. tub. So ultimately it come up to a bench and it went through another rendition and, and we started taking it around asking people how they liked it. And of course we found Fun Spot and, and they liked it enough to buy it. And so at that point, we went into hyperdrive. On September the 8th, we started producing engineering drawings to build it. So from September the 8th to the show, it went from nothing... From computer to ride. ...to here. So it's been uh, a pretty crazy time for us. We've literally been working from 8 in the morning till 2 in the morning. Oh. So for the past... We Sundays, have not. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for you. <laughs> but we don't build crazy couches. We do not. Yeah. We build silly sofas. Yeah. Yep, they're not as popular. It's... Yeah. it's uh, uh, we put Drew on the sofa, and I shake him from behind and yell silly things. Oh, I wouldn't ride that. No. <laughs> Nobody would. Yeah, yeah, it sounds a little weird, but it's okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but no, the, the concept kind of evolved, and of course we can theme it to anything. One of the ideas we had was for a crab, and so the crab would have okay. crazy eyes moving all over the place. And, but, uh, you know, the other thing is the simplicity of it. Uh, basically, the whole unit, it only runs off of one sensor. There's no PLC. It runs off just a straight drive. So it's very easy to use maintenance-wise. Uh, the system that actually runs it, it, it's a start button and a foot pedal. And then you have a maintenance Pretty simple. jog. Right now, we have it setting crooked just because it looks cool. It does look cool. So when kids come up, we flatten it back out. It looks then, crazy. Yeah. And, and it's a very cool ride visually, too, because this, this is signing the back move as right. well as the... Well, the cool thing is, is not only the signs moving in different directions, but the one sign is on the bench and the other was completely separate. So the idea is, if you change the theme, we can make things interact on the sign outside of words. So for instance, on the crab, one of the ideas was, is we have like a conch shell on one side and the crab can go in and in out. And, oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then, you know, you can have the calls on the bench so it looks like it's following the kids. Yeah, now, now it looks like a kid's ride, but can adults ride as well? Yeah, you know, adults can ride in just the middle seats. Uh, okay. The rest of them are, are pretty much the same as you would see on any kid ride. Hey, baby girl, how are you? Are you leaving? Oh, oh. Hi. We'll see you. Bye. We'll see you at the pool. See, they like the crazy guys. They like the crazy, they like crazy Chris. Is what they like. <laughs> crazy Chris has a pool that they come over and swim in all the time. So that's, oh. that's my business partner, Jeff, and his family. Uh, oh, that, that's all the kids came today. And, and so I'm the crazy uncle that has the pool. So. <laughs> Everybody loves the pool guy. You know, right? Yeah. right? Well, that's me. And from an no, nobody loves the no. Drew, the one bedroom apartment guy. No. The Sorry. pool guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But from an operator standpoint, it only takes one operator, so one it cuts your yeah. staffing down. And, and, it's like really, that. and it's really easy to operate. When we put the mirror in the back at a park, you wouldn't need that, but here you know, at, the, at the show. Your office is in a restricted area. <laughs> right, right, right. We, saw know, we run it at the office. It's always interesting when somebody comes in the office and there's actually a ride in the office yeah. running. So. Like we saw nice uh, lockout tagout safety. When you were back there, you took the key with you so nobody could run the ride. Exactly, right. So. <laughs>
<laughs> it's also Chris safe. Trust right? me, <laughs> I know that's the best thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. So. Now, can me and him go for a ride? Uh, yeah, we can try to squeeze you in there. It's going to probably be a little tight. Have you guys ridden it already or no? We have not. No. We can probably try to squeeze you in. We'll try and squeeze you in. It's a little tight. Uh huh. And since it is the prototype, we've actually uh, we got it here to the show, and we found out there's a couple things that we're going to mod on it before it goes to fun spot. Mm -hmm. And a couple of them. Uh, one is the lap bar. We're going to make it a little more accommodating for people. People who like Taco like Bell. Me, mm -hmm. Yeah, and you. And then also we'll widen it out a little bit, and it'll probably have two clicks instead of just one. And most of those modifications are probably going to happen within the next two weeks. So. Oh, okay. But what you're going to see is this one's going to go from the show to Orlando Fun Spot, mm -hmm. and it's gonna run through Thanksgiving. And that way, operationally, they can see what they don't like about it and what we can fix with the operations, if there's anything. And it also gives the people watching at home, if they're Orlando locals, they right. really wanna go try this in the next week it. and a half. Ding. Right. And so from then, if there's any mods that we need to do then, it'll come back to our shop seven mm -hmm. miles away, right here in Orlando. Very, you could essentially, you're, you could be a test dummy for you could. the guys here at Skyline. Yeah, right. And if you see something you don't like, you can tell Fun Spot, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, they'll, you can They'll relay them. that back to us. Mm -hmm. But then it's going to go live in Kissimmee oh. before Christmas. And All so right. this ride is based on going to Kissimmee Park. Very cool. Well, let's see if we get it fit on or uh, yeah, yeah. we'll take the walk I'm of shame. I'm going to take everything yeah, off yeah. of my pocket. I tell you what, hang on. Let me balance it back out. So if you Yeah, wanna... this looks very difficult to try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, uh, we're Suck in. We're already resting on you. <laughs> oh, oh, we're in. We are in. <laughs> Up. It is. We're in. Anybody got a pee? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's your problem. <laughs> All right, so we can go home. All righty. We are nice and cozy in this couch. Yeah, we couch. are definitely cozy. It should be the, called the comfy couch. Or the well, cozy but the, couch. The, the, things are about to get crazy. All right, you guys ready? We are. The camera ready? All right, there you go. Wee! This is neat. I like this. It's very neat. It's like a frog hopper mixed with uh, Arabian Nights kind of Yeah. Thing. And it, it's really interesting too because it's not the same circular motion no. with the tilting. You know, sometimes you're like this, sometimes you're like that. So and it. I think you're over on the end. Yeah, on your end, it's a, probably really a lot of fun. But it, it gives it different motion each time. Yeah. yeah. Like sometimes you're just going up and down in circles. Sometimes you're tilting. But it definitely sounds like a ride. Yeah. Ooh, kind of I fun. like that. The side to side stuff's really yeah. fun. It's it's not bad. I mean, it's a kids ride. Obviously, I'm not the target market. No, but um, what, what if you were seven? This would be amazing. I like the little vibration feel going on right now. I, That's great. Very cool. That's it. Uh, please let us out. You want to ride again? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can ride again. Yeah. All right, we'll ride again. We'll keep going. That's easy. We're in. We're in. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going again. Going a second time. Hands up, let's go. All right, so this has been the Crazy Couch. Yeah. And uh, it's it's crazy, just like the name says. Yeah. And we want to thank everybody out there for watching. Thank you for watching all of our APA videos. And we and thank all the people who are watching us right now, thinking we look foolish because we're riding a kid's ride. Yep, and they're like, man, those guys fit in the ride. Thank you for watching our APA 2015 coverage. This will do it. Drew, pleasure as always, my friend. Excellent. Great, uh, two and oh in the IAPA challenge. Yes, that did happen. I didn't want to bring that up, but uh, thank you very much. We'll see you next year, Iapa.